order for the users to have control over a program or some other work that they use to do practical jobs, the users need four essential freedoms. Freedom zero is the freedom to use the work as you wish, to run the program as you wish, doing whatever job you want to do. Freedom one is the freedom to study the work in the best possible form and change it so that the work does the job the way you wish. In the case of software, this means to study the real source code and change that. Well, these two freedoms provide individual control over the program or other work, meaning each user can adapt the work to that user's needs. However, individual control is not enough. For instance, in the case of programs, most users of computing don't know how to program. So they don't know how to exercise this individual control. But even for the users who do know how, like me, the fact is we use so many programs that if we were limited to individual control, we wouldn't effectively have control over these programs. We need collective control as well, which means that any group of users must be free to work together to exercise control over their version of the work. For collective control, we need two more essential freedoms. Freedom two is the freedom to redistribute exact copies. And freedom three is the freedom to redistribute your modified versions. This allows the people in a group to cooperate with each other as they make changes in the program or other work, and also to offer their version to others if they wish. So with these four freedoms, the users control the work and they control what they do with it. In the case of software, the users can control their computing. And that's what this is fundamentally about. Users deserve to have control of their own computing. It's wrong for someone else to control your computing. That's an injustice. And we should get rid of that.